<laughs> yep. <laughs> That'll work. Hello, we are Katie and Scott. Our goal is to make it to full-time RV. But in the meantime, we'll have to continue building our life, this time older and wiser. All right, so we've got our trailer back. We've got it parked in front of our neighbor's house because we live at the end of a cul-de-sac, so we can't park in front of ours just yet. We are working on that. But we're gonna take this opportunity and get some stuff organized. Even though we only took two trips last year, um, we did learn a lot of lessons watching um, just from experience and also from watching all of you out there in the world and on YouTube. So we have, we got these, I don't know what they're called. Katie, what are these? Non-skid mats. Yes, we've got these and this whole bulk of it. This is, Malcolm loves to play with that. Now, um, so one of the other things we got, if you can see up here, is this, um, this little shelf tray thing. I think we got this from Camping World. It's adjustable. And I put the um, put the non-skid cloth there. So hopefully this should stay put through our travels. Um, we usually secure things fairly well, but you know, sometimes you get lazy, right? And you want to make sure that everything's good. So we're going to figure out how all you this fits. You get lazy like us. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to... So we're gonna figure out how all this fits in and we'll check back in in a few minutes. Okay, let's see how we did. So we've got our risers in there with little plates and cups back there and there's bowls back there. And then on this side, we've got the big plates and cups, measuring cups and some Tupperware type stuff up here. So it fits very, very well. And we relocated all of the pots and pans down below. Let me show you that real fast. It's not the most organized thing in the world, but it'll do. So here we go. We've got, we've got um, more Tupperware in there and then back behind there are pots and pans and then bakeware is going to be down below. So we don't have like this cabinet makes me crazy because it's a weird shape. There's the dish drainer, the pop-up dish drainer on the pop -a roll hole, a holder right there. So all in all we have a lot of space still because we don't have anything in that cabinet, either of those cabinets, either of those cabinets, that cabinet. I think the two times we went out last year, um, we had a ton of empty cabinet space. And I know that'll change, but right now we have more than we need. And you did a great job organizing. Um, it was you. No. I just did what you told me, which is the safest and smartest thing to do. <laughs> That's not, well, I mean, it is true, but. Um, hey, I got something going on here if you want to. Yeah, totally. Look. Sure. Hey, can you come, um, can you go over on that other side for a minute, Pubs? Thanks. All right, so, what's going on? Um, these are our bunks here, our bed. And, yes. Uh, it's, it's okay. Um, we're cramped a little. Yeah. But um, we only have two outlets down here. So we found these things on Amazon. Uh, they are a Westgate three outlet desktop um, USB hub. Can I get in here? Yes, honey. Carefully. And um, so you got three outlets here. Uh, you don't have the three prong outlets, which kind of stinks, but that's what it is. And then you got, but you got two USB hubs, which is the big thing that I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. So we got two of these and we'll mount one on each side of the bed and that'll make life a lot easier for us. We'll just put it right here. In a minute, bubs. Um, so this can mount onto the side of the bed, this little plate, right? Oh, fantastic. And then um, this just, oops, where am I going? And then this just clips on. Okay. Like that. And then you can slide it off, can you take it somewhere this? else if you want to. 
So okay. that's what I'm going to do real quick is get these mounted. Fantastic. And then we'll we'll see where we are from there. Oh, it also comes with this little cord holder. So okay. We can, um, looks like a sticky thing there. I'll stick it on the side and we can wind this big long cord up. Perfect. That's so super exciting. We'll show you when we're done. Yay. I think this is going to work out really well. So what I've got here is called pop a roll. Pop a roll. Not pop a roll, like pop a smurf, but pop a roll. A roll of paper towels, that is. So basically what this thing is, is it hangs up up here. I guess you could put it on the wall. We've decided to put it right about here. And you put your paper towels in here, your roll of paper towels. You can get them easily. And then the idea is you can just slide this out without the screw falling out. And take this over to your picnic table or outside or wherever you need it. <laughs> Malcolm's very Somebody's, excited about it. Yes, he is. So we're just going to mount that up there. It's just two screws and then it should slide in. Hopefully it'll be e easy for uh, everyone, including myself. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, I'm kind of a fail at this kind of stuff. No, you are not. I am. So anytime I'm able to do something, anybody should be able to do it. <laughs> There's some too. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate the help. I didn't actually need these, but thanks so much. You know what? I'll put them in my pocket just in case I do need them, though, all right? Okay, okay. High fives? <laughs> Thanks. All right, and then in theory. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just slides right on there. So one thing we just kind of figured out is this slides really easily. So you wouldn't want to hang it vertically because it'll probably slide right out. And you take some corners, this might fly right out. So maybe when you're traveling, you just fold it up and put it in a drawer somewhere. We picked up this little bird keychain coat rack um, dog leash holder thing. So then we thought maybe right here. Yes. It's tall enough, it gets everything out of the way, and the, the, uh, the birds look pretty good against the dark wood, I think. I think so too. So. So, put this guy up. Perfect. Oh, that's not level at all. What? Did that's you true. just say that to mess with me? Yes, I did. Oh. Ooh, what you got there? I've got shoe holders. Yay! Yes, this is something that we saw on one of the Full Timers channels, um, Keep Your Daydream. Mark and Trish have this, and it was a fantastic idea. Because you have so many shoes? Because we have so many shoes. Because you have so many shoes. They all serve a different purpose, right? <laughs> all right. So anyway, this is going to go along the foot of the bed. Our shoes are going to go in it like so. Like so. And hopefully. And hopefully. It will work out well. It will work out well. <laughs> Big man and a little keeper. <laughs> So, um, I will actually need you to put that down, and we'll check back in later. Okay. I need your help. That plan doesn't work. All right. That yeah, works. That works very well. <laughs> Real fast, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Nobody's feet are bigger than mine, so. Perfect. So we bought this child and dog screen protector. Great. So it's not going to last him too much longer, but for now, um, and the dog, that'll keep them from pushing through our screen door. Yes. Plus it looks nice. It does look nice. So we'll see if it still looks nice after I install it. Hey, that is not what that's for. <laughs> this is a level. Are you level? Nope. You are crooked. Yeah. Nice. Looks like it'll mount like that. And does it just slide back and forth, I guess? I guess. That's... Seems a little odd. 
Well, I'm sure there are directions what? that you could look at and read. Why would I Maybe do that? Maybe follow the directions. There's no reason. It says easy install. Yes, easy install when you read the directions. Yep, I'll have to measure that from inside. Like it said on the instructions? Did it say to do it from the inside? It did. Oh. All right, let's you see. Made it all it the way does. Hooray, I didn't screw up. Yay. Oh, so nice. It does look nice. Oh, you good. Super duper nice. One of our last little bit for today is this uh, Camco crossbar thing. RV screen crossbar camera. Who? Where does that go? Uh, across here. Somewhere okay. hereabouts. Okay, maybe down a little bit lower for us short people. Yeah, like right here. Yeah. So, how's that for the height? Right about there. Well, it seems very high to me. No, I mean, I meant get it, get get in. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up today's upgrades. Um, I'm gonna put these on off camera. They're pretty easy to do, but I think it's important to have these bug screens for your, um, come here, I'll show you real quick. We're, we're done because the little one is done and needs to go do some chalk. Yes, and I'm cold. Hold on. There was a fuzzy. Oh. It's fine. Uh so anyway, we are done because that one is done. <laughs> yes. So when he's done, we're gonna be done. But I am still gonna put these on. Um, they go over your uh, your vents here and your vent here. So this is your hot water heater and this is just your exhaust vents for the heater. And these will keep all the bugs out, especially like the mud dabbers and stuff that like to climb up there and build nests that can get really expensive from what I understand. <laughs> It's just a little bug, and you're going to have to deal with those because we're going to be camping outside with bugs. I know. So I'm going to put these on. He's going to go do some chalk painting on the driveway, right? Yeah. All right. Drive. Yeah. You're going to have fun. Anyway, uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, click that subscribe button. We've got tons of stuff coming up. We're always upgrading. And now that camping yes. season, now that camping season is in, right? Yeah. Then it's time. So anyway, um, Bye. If you like the video, please click uh, the like button. Yes. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, and welcome back. So, are you very excited about going camping next weekend? Yeah. And I'm going to measure. You're going to measure everything with your tape measure there? Uh, with the trailer. Oh, yeah. The outside. Yeah. Do you know where we're going camping? 